Javante Davis wasn't the only star this weekend. There was another matchup that happened on Saturday in Las Vegas where Vasily Lomachenko returned to the ring for the first time since his loss to Teofimo Lopez back in October. His opponent, Masayoshi Nakatani, was game, but Lomachenko reminded us why he is nicknamed The Matrix. All doubts on Loma's position in the lightweight division entering the fight should have been put to rest. After the fight, the most obvious question was, who's next for Lomachenko? You wanted to make a statement tonight with a victory like you accomplished against Nakatani. What is your message to Teofimo Lopez? Hey, please, win, uh, win your fight and make, make it happen, everyone. That fight, when we get it done, which we will, yes. it's going to be huge, huge. Amazing. And you know what? I was think, I wasn't thinking about Lomacheco in the past, but after this performance, I think that the public wants to see this fight. I think that I could convince my, my son to fight him again. I think that uh, after Combosis, it, it could be made. It's going to be the biggest fight in the world. And we could make it happen in December in the Madison Square Garden, you know, like we always do, you know. What are your thoughts on how Loma performed against Nakatani? First off, Rock, I don't know who had doubts about Lomachenko, but I sure never did. I mean, especially him in a lightweight well, division. Then, then Still, why <laughs> would we have him for King? First of all, we shouldn't be calling these young guys Kings until the end of their career. But why would we have him for Kings without the guy who was King before them? Well, listen, um, even throughout those conversations, I've always said, hey, Loma is not to be forgotten about. He lost against one of the top fighters in the world and in a close fight. So, Barack, I didn't expect anything less of, of Lomachenko this by Saturday. I expect that to, for him to do what he did against Nakatani. Nakatani, a tough fighter. But a guy as skilled as Lomachenko, I think Nakatani, and I hate using this, Barack, but I'm going to use it today, is tailor-made for a guy like Lomachenko to succeed. And that's not taking anything away from Lomachenko. It just is what it is. Lomachenko is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world and he has been for a very long time. And just like Javante Davis was candid in a post fight interview, I love the way uh, Teofimo's dad was candid in that interview and, and saying, first off, even before that, I, I watched interviews this weekend where he was saying Lomachenko looked amazing. He, he predicted that to happen. And the fact that, Barack, I agree with you, the fact that they're willing to fight Lomachenko again, man, just, say, just shows that those guys, that team, they want to be great. They want to take another big risk against a, a, a fighter of that caliber to prove to the world, all right, the first fight was close. They said that he had a shoulder injury. He says he felt it was a draw. Let's run it back so I can prove that I'm still better than Lomachenko. I thought it was a hell of a performance from Loma and Teofimo Lopez C. Yeah, well, as far as Lopez and Loma rematch, I think a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, this Loma is, is somebody who can beat Lopez, but they got to understand that this is the same Loma that fought um, Pedraza. This is the same Lo Loma that stopped Nicholas Wal Walters. This is the same Loma that we nicknamed Nomaschenko, you know, but at 130, at 135, he couldn't stop Pedraza. He couldn't stop Campbell, you know, so we were like, oh, can he actually stop Nakatani? Lopez couldn't, so that was a big statement, but at the same time, Teofimo already beat Loma. Yes, maybe it was a shoulder injury. Who knows? But he was already special before that. So does that necessarily mean it would be different? Maybe it was Lopez's defense and offense that neutralized Loma. We'll see if there's a rematch.